with this second video and in one day um, and it's gonna feature uh, Mac and um, products and this is still considered in the interestingly dry series that's gonna feature their face products as usual so um, I'm pretty sure most people know about Mac but um, what has deterred me from trying Mac um, over the last three years or so is mainly because uh, from what I've known and read and um, tried out for myself is that they're very um, like it's very geared towards what's the word I'm thinking of um, high coverage dramatic kind of more like total flawless canvas looks so of course with that means it's heavier coverage um, and more maybe harsher products to do the job that it needs to do so um, of course MAC does not advertise itself as a paraben free or um, animal cruelty free or anything of that sort and MAC as you know has been in the makeup game for quite a while um, but the two products that probably are under raped by YouTube community mainly because most of the girls there are more combo to oily skin so they would always maybe pick um, like the studio fix fluid or something like that and no one ever talks about this guy which is the face and body foundation um, as well as the MAC strobe cream sorry I hear somebody okay so um, what the MAC strobe strobe cream is is a hydrating primer and it kind of doubles up even as a moisturizer for me I'm not sure if they it's meant to do that but it does say cream and um, there's no ingredient list or anything so I can't talk too much about it but uh, it comes in a little squeeze tube and this is the travel size for ten dollars and um, I'm all about obviously purchasing, purchasing more bulky um, products if it means I'll save my save money and if I know I'm in love with the product enough however I know for makeup wise I never use it enough to buy the full size so um, being that this is ten dollars and one full fluid ounces this is uh, quite a good price especially if I'm only gonna use it for primers most primers the size is at least 15 if not 25 30 dollars anyhow so this is a very good primer slash moisturizer for the daytime um, if you don't want to moisturize under your foundation um, for dry skin people so I just swatched it and I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up but this is how it looks like and this is how it looks like blend out so I'm not sure if you're catching that glow or how my camera is picking it up but um, in real life it looks very natural so I'm all about sheen not glitter and I, I do not like glitter because um, it kind of emphasizes my dry skin and just makes it very fake so this has a very nice sheen satin finish which I love because I like my foundation to look kind of dewier which brings me to the next product um, called MAC face and body fluid foundation so the only con I have to say about this is that it does not have a um, sheen finish per se it has semi matte from what I feel like and um, but it does its job it's light coverage maybe light medium coverage is definitely not medium um, in most people's eyes and um, it's very liquidy because I believe it's aqua or water based and for this big guy it's $35 which is quite a deal for Mac um, to have and the one that I believe is 50 mil which is like 1.7 fluid ounces is $25 so even though I'm big on um, saving money I feel like for $10 more um, this is a better purchase anyhow so I bought the bigger size after have trying samples and stuff I felt like this is a very good uh, foundation to have um, so like I said I've deterred from MAC foundation for years now because I've actually had a girl or who was working at the counter who applied a MAC uh, 
Geo Fix fluid on my face. I believe that's like one of their heavier uh, coverage foundation and it broke me out like crazy like you know the the pimple that kind of raises as like a bee sting that was so painful anyhow that kind of just scared me from mac in general except for the eyeshadows and such and i've never came back since however i came back for the strobe creams i was thinking in my head like oh what's a good moisturizing primer and i decided to go with the mac strobe after remembering it years ago and i thought I might as well ask what they have I know they have the face and body for a while now, however, I just never gave it a shot after that bad encounter many years ago. So, um, back to the product, I thought I'd give it a shot. This is how it looks like, if you can pick it up. And it's very liquidy. It, when You have to layer on the product, because the first layer that you put is going to go on very sheer, almost as if you didn't have anything on to begin with. This is probably the first layer is less of that of, of a tinted moisturizer um, but the good thing about that is that it does not if you're worried about it mixing with your moisturizer consistency it doesn't because it has no actual moisture in its product so if you're looking for a versatile BB cream feel this is not it because this does not provide moisture but also does not take away from your moisture so if you're just looking for a straight on coverage that's light that's uh semi um semi uh what's the word sheen um finish that's very um natural looking this is probably it and it's buildable of course if you want nothing more than just a very light natural coverage just go with one if you want a little bit more um coverage on your sunspots and stuff just dab a little bit more on and then if you want or more visible like I'm kind of wearing makeup look go ahead and add concealer and all that jazz but this is a very good foundation for that and I guess the body part of the name means you can use it on your body to kind of even out any um, discoloration of the skin maybe and it's as you know their range is different um, than their NC range it, it's either N or C which is um, cool or neutral in a way so i am c3 this is my color and the lady said it's probably an nc25 um to an nc30 but then again it varies depend on the line that they have because the concealer um the pro long wear concealer i matched to an nc35 but their full face coverage their nc30 is too dark for me so it's fairly confusing you just have to kind of shade match it yourself but if you kind of can tell from my um, skin tone on the camera, I'm probably one shade lighter than that. And C3 um, fits me um, right on par. And for the price that you pay for this, it's a lot. It's, I mean, for the price that you pay, the product is a lot. It's 120 mils, if I haven't said that, and it's for $35, either on their website or in any Mac in stores in California. I actually just bought it today, so I still have the packaging and everything, but that's pretty much it for my review on MAC. I know a lot of people are fond of MAC products, but to be honest, um, there's only a handful that I'm actually um, fond of, which is their MAC Pro um, makeup remover, which does not irritate me at all and, and takes off my eye makeup as a br like a breeze. Um, and probably these two other products. Their lip products I'm not quite fond of because it's too drying for my lips. I'd rather use uh, Rare Fun Lip Butters, if you guys are familiar with that. Um, that's pretty much it. If you have any more questions or have any suggestions for me to try out at MAC, feel free to comment below. Um, other than that, have a nice day. Alright, bye!